The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Marvel of the heavenly hosts, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Philippians 2, verse 7. It is important that we each study to know the reason of the life of Christ in humanity and what it means to us. Why the Son of God left the courts of heaven, why he stepped down from his position as commander of the heavenly angels who came and went at his bidding, why he clothed his divinity with humanity and in lowliness and humility came to the world as our Redeemer. It was the marvel of the heavenly hosts that Christ should come to earth and do as he did, that his life here should be one of poverty in such incomparable contrast with his glory in the heavenly courts. He might have come attended by the angelic throng. Before the universe of heaven, Christ condescended to take upon him the form of humanity and stand among the lowly ones of earth, that he might reach them where they were, and by precept and example teach them that though among the poor and oppressed, they might be pure and true and noble. He came to reveal to the world that the life and character need not become contaminated amid poverty and lowliness. The lily that rests upon the bosom of the lake may be surrounded with weeds and unsightly debris, yet unsullied, it opens its fragrant white blossom to the sunlight. It strikes its channeled stem down through the mass of rubbish to the pure sands beneath, refusing everything that would defile. It gathers to itself only those properties that will develop into the spotless fragrant flower. The lily is a representation of Christ among men. He came to a world all seared and marred with the curse, but he was not polluted by his surroundings. He was the light, the life, and the way. He voluntarily became an inhabitant of earth that he might grasp the whole world in his merciful arms and lay it in the arms of his heavenly Father. What love is manifested in this sacrifice that the Lord himself should come to the help of the fallen sons and daughters of Adam.